on this computer. Oh, there we go. A very good day to you, ladies and gentlemen. It's Tony DeVale, CEO of Life Masters. And I'm very excited today to have the expert, Dr. Isabella van Nikkerk, who's a naturopath from Rubicon Persona Clinics. And as you can see from her wall, she's a very highly qualified doctor. Dr. Isabella, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Thank you for having me. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure and I'm excited because I know you've been focusing quite extensively on the health crisis that we find ourselves in. And there's so much disinformation and uncertainty. I thought if you could just share with us based on your experience and expertise, an update with kind of what's the current situation? Because I hear lots of stories about jabbed and unjabbed and what's working and what's not. So can you give us an update right now, please? Yes, sure. I'll do that with pleasure. Well, I've helped quite a bit of people that were positive. And my finding was they were very, very exhausted. Their lungs were infected. And because of the lack of oxygen and also the thickening of the blood, hmm. that was the worst. Even people that never told me they had um, COVID. But when I do the intravenous, I work a lot with ozone intravenous. When I put in the needle and the pushback, you could see the blood was pitch black. Wow. And yes, it was, it was shocking. And then I would say, say to them, but you, your body lacks oxygen. And they, they will say, yes, but they had COVID. And I just, by looking at the blood, I could see that. And it's amazing how quickly they recovered from the virus. And obviously with that, I've also got other protocols that I can do. The most interesting thing is like boost your immune system. You know, I worked very close to them. If you do their treatments, you're basically in their face. Mm. I didn't get the virus. But what I've been doing is I've been boosting my immune system every single day with smoothies, with your green powders. And I was shocked. I, was, I stayed uh, healthy. Obviously, I didn't work with other people then because that would be selfish. Mm. I did that. And my daughter is in Cape Town. I'm in Joburg. I found out that she was positive. Obviously, I couldn't go there. She couldn't travel to me. I did courier some stuff for her. On day 10, she went out jawling again, as fit as a fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> and she's, she's 27. She's not a child, but that's who she is. <laughs> and she was fine. Perfectly fine. I think the challenge that, that I have in the work that we're doing, because uh, we know we're in front of people with a team building and leadership, so we're in a face-to-face -face situation, is people think that because they've had the jab or one or two, whatever, they think they're immune and they're bulletproof. But my understanding is that, in fact, you may not see the symptoms, but you carry even a higher load factor in your system. And then the people that did get infected, but healed naturally, the naturally healed people, their immune system is in fact stronger and they're more protected than the immune system, than the, than the jabbed people. What are your thoughts on, on that situation? That is so, so true. And I've seen people that had it and that also took a long time to heal. I had people when they got to me, it's five months post and they were still battling. So I helped them, but they were never jabbed and they got right so quickly. And then I got people that got the jab and then they got the COVID after the jab. And at one stage, I thought I was going to lose some of them. Wow. So I had to jump in with extra treatments, extra oxygen, extra ozone. And it's like, they suffered absolutely more. And also I do live blood analysis. And I've seen some of their blood, blood nice and round and healthy. After that, 
oh my goodness. And it's like, this is all new for us. And as we learn as we go as well. Even we as, as doctors, we didn't study this virus because it wasn't there. Then their blood is so spiky and thick that it's like a cluster of, of uh, red blood cells. And even the white blood cells, very, very small. Immune system, very, very low. So you mentioned the five months people have been taking a strain to try and recover. I heard about what they call long, I think it's long COVID. Um, long COVID. What, is, what is that that people need to be aware of and can you help them? They're very, very tired. Some days they've got good days. They can, they can work, they can be busy. And then the next day they just down and out. These people, they couldn't even plan their work because I didn't know how they're going to feel the next day. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. And cupping, I've helped a few people, which, because everything is trial and error because it's so new. And I did my training and cupping and I thought, you know what, this will also help the lungs, in the lung area in the beginning, as you know, it's the, the Chinese medicine, mm -hmm. you put the cup on and it sucked the skin. It sucked all the stagnant blood out. It helped with circulation, helped with extra oxygen. In the lung area, in the beginning, it was like purple black. Wow. And after three, four treatments, lung area, nice and beautiful. So it definitely strengthened the lungs and it helped with extra oxygen as well. But they all had to do the oxygen and the ozone therapy. Mm. And some of them that took so much lung longer, I'm a big believer in fasting. Hey, <laughs> and it's not difficult. And I don't do a water fast because people need to have supervision 24 seven. I've got an amazing wheatgrass fast and your body gets so much nutrients. Give the body a rest from digesting food and that goes for healing. And it's like, it's life changing. It's life changing. I, I think I have to thank you because I'm, I feel strong and I am exposed because of the team building and stuff. So I take your whole protocol. I mean, I follow that every single day rigorously and I, I feel confident in it and I have no symptoms or anything like that. So if people want to get a hold of you, can people just phone you to talk? Because I think there's so much uncertainty. I've heard of people dying on respirators, which I understand is the wrong thing to do. Can people just talk to you to, to allay fears or get some more information? Are you okay with that? I'm perfectly fine with that because I've seen changes. And yeah. that's not how I think it is. I've seen what it is. And there is so much fear in people. Please phone me 073-909-7562 or you can go to my website www.rubiconpersonaclinics.co.za feel free please let me help you why suffer and it's like like I said again I can't say it enough I've seen it yeah. just give us your that number one more time that people can phone you 073-909-7562. Cool. Doc, thank, thank you. you very, very much. I'm really, really so grateful because I feel like I'm protected by an angel, a health angel that, that knows. <laughs> that, but listen, you know, you, you've done, you I mean, you mentioned that doctors are coming to you to heal themselves. So yeah. for me, I am really grateful. So thank you for all of your wisdom and your caring I'm really, really, really grateful in these times of uncertainty to have a resource like you. Thank you for your time. And I must say, I did have medical doctors coming to me for help. And it was like, I never thought that was going to happen. And that also changed their view. And it's like, I'm not totally against chemicals. Sometimes it does have a place, but it also there's enough natural medicine to help you. All right, Doc, Thank thanks you. very much. Go well. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.